Hello everyone, Tech Fairy here with the sixth in a series of video tutorials on the basics of iMovie 10 for Yosemite. In a previous tutorial, I went over the Ken Burns effect and how it can be modified or removed. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to add audio files to iMovie. Importing audio files into iMovie is identical to importing videos or images. Click Import, navigate to wherever you save the audio, select what you want to import, and click Import Selected. The audio file appears in your library the same way a video or picture does. To place an audio file into the timeline, double click and drag the same way you would any other media file. Just like a video, it is possible to put just a piece of the file into the timeline. Like an image cutaway, the audio file is connected to a video clip by the green line, following the clip if it is moved or deleted. If you have songs in your iTunes library that you want to put in the timeline, it isn't necessary to first import them. Under Content Library, on the left side of the iMovie window, select iTunes. Your iTunes library will appear, allowing you to put songs directly into the timeline by clicking and dragging. There are similar libraries for sound effects, media from GarageBand, and more. Unlike videos and images, it is possible to layer audio files so that more than one plays at once. This can be useful for remixing songs or adding multiple sound effects to a movie, although normal songs will likely sound like unintelligible noise. Now you've learned how to add audio files to iMovie. In the next tutorial, I'll go over some basic ways to modify those audio files in the timeline. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.